Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Almighty Lord and everlasting God, vouchsafe, we beseech thee, to direct, sanctify, and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of thy laws and in the works of thy commandments, that through thy most mighty protection, both here and ever, we may be preserved in body and soul. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. O Lord, from whom all good things do come, grant to us, thy humble servants, that by thy holy inspiration we may think those things that are good, and by thy merciful guiding may perform the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The epistle is written in the letter of St. James in the first chapter beginning with the 22nd verse. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves, for if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. If any man among you seem to be religious, and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Here endeth the epistle. The Holy Gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ according to St. John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he will give it you. 
Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive it, that your joy may be full. These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs. But the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs. But I shall show you plainly of the Father, and that day ye shall ask in my name. And I say not unto you that I will pray to the Father for you. For the Father himself loveth you, because ye have loved me, and have believed that I came out from God. I came forth from the Father, and am come into the world. Again, I leave the world, and go to the Father. His disciples said unto him, Lo, now speakest thou plainly, and speakest no proverb. Now we are sure that thou knowest all things, and needest not that any man should ask thee. By this we believe, that thou camest forth from God. Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Praise be to thee, O Christ. powerful a powerful pair of scriptures and it ties kind of nicely into what I offered you last week remember he said that he had many things to tell them but they could not yet bear them I'm still looking and waiting and trying to find be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. And another one of those basics that each and every one of us needs to remember every now and then. Sometimes we need a good swift kick. The basic difference between walking the walk and just talking the talk. Oh yeah. I know I need to be reminded that sometimes. And the Gospel shows us what's waiting for us once we get the point. It shows us some of it, not all of it. Jesus tells his disciples that the time comes when he's going to stop speaking in Proverbs and parables and speak plainly. Now mind you, this is in the time where he's getting ready for the ascension. But he talks about what he's going to do. Just like he said, there's yet many things to tell. But they couldn't bear them yet. And there's some things that we can't bear yet. And he also tells them that he doesn't pray to the Father for them because the Father already loves them. Which means, in other words, they don't have to have him pray to the Father for him. They can go right straight to the top. That doesn't mean you can't pray to Jesus or to anybody else. But you don't need an intermediary. You can call upon the top yourself. You got a direct line to the top. And so does each one of us. You, me, each and every single one of us. And that also means one of the most important things that we need to do is individually build our own relationship with the divine. 
And you know what? That's when the really great stuff happens. And so would it be. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds. God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets, and I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. <clears throat> I want to call upon you for prayers in regards to a Judge Sim Lake, Federal District Judge in Texas. He made a ruling recently that the so called crush movies crush videos, what some call crush porn, more accurately, are protected free speech under the First Amendment. Now, I want to tell you where I draw some lines. If, as for instance, Warren Beatty I believe he was was the actor who starred in the movie Bonnie and Clyde. And he portrayed robbing a bank. Free expression. He was play acting. There are many illegal acts portrayed by play acting. What the heck? The news or documentaries, and I enjoy documentaries, they will quite often have videos of people committing crimes, robbing banks, for instance. Or they will have interviews of people who used to commit crimes talking about the crimes that they used to commit. That's, I have no issue with that. However, <clears throat> if somebody were to sell videos on the subject of how I rob banks, or maybe the title, Let's Rob Banks, shows how to do it, or glorifying the fun that they have in robbing banks. That, I would draw the line. Likewise, in videos of people stomping on and otherwise torturing innocent animals, especially puppies and kittens. That's where I draw the line. But Judge Lake calls it protected speech. I do not suggest that anybody lift a finger against him. But I do suggest we lift our prayers. That he can reverse himself and realize 
where he crossed the line. Like I said, don't raise a finger. Don't raise a hand. Raise a prayer. And don't be surprised if the other video produced by Wise Ones Net comes alive maybe on the 19th of May for a special effort in regards to Judge Lake. Also, continuing your prayers for Deborah, healing especially for her eyes. Debbie, cancer and depression. Lewis, a major change in his job, a major step up. But at the same time, he uh, goes into a new job as the newbie and has to requalify ever all over again and all that sort of stuff. And of course, Bishop Mark of South Carolina. God is not unrighteous that he will forget your works and labor that proceedeth of love, which love ye have showed for his name's sake, who have ministered under the saints and yet do minister. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. Almighty and ever-living God, who by thy holy apostle hast taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations and to receive these our prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee continually to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, that they may, both by their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments, and to all thy people give thy heavenly grace. And especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity, especially Deborah, Debbie, Lewis, and Mark, Bishop, and we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear. Beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace so to follow their good examples that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Ye who do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbors and intend to lead a new life, 
following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways. Draw near with faith and take this humble holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God, devoutly kneeling. Almighty God, Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us, the burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us, most merciful Father, for thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life. To the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of His great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and sincere faith turn unto Him. Have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Savior Christ saith unto all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. <coughs> so God loved the world <coughs> that he gave his only begotten Son to the end that all that believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hear also what St. Paul saith, this is a true saying and worthy of all men to be received that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St. John saith. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. All glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Amen. O glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, for that thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and as his holy gospel command us to continue, a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed he took bread. And when he had given thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for thee. 
do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we thy humble servants do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son Jesus Christ and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this Holy Communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body in, with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service. Not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trust, trusting in our own righteousness. But in thy manifold and great mercies we are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table. But thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace.
the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart by faith, with thanksgiving. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for thee, and be thankful. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee, for that Thou dost vouchsafe to feed us who have duly received these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of Thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members incorporate in the mystic body of Thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of Thy everlasting kingdom by the merits of his most precious death and passion. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee, we glorify Thee, we give thanks to Thee for Thy great glory, O Lord God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord, Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. 
Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. This has been a presentation of the Wise Ones Net. Merry part and blessed be.